Good morning, friends. I am off to work right now. I work at the salon today, and I feel like it's going to be a pretty good day. I can't, I ended up calling in last night to see who I have. Um, I don't think it's a like fully packed day, which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully, it doesn't go slow because of that. But I have, um, I have clients that I love and will get to see, so that's fun. I woke up this morning with definitely a sore butt and legs from my workout last night, so that's how you know that it meant business. Uh, I had an interesting morning because uh, the workout program that I bought, um, the system was being weird the other day, so I kept having to like redo different parts, which meant that I ended up accidentally ordering it twice, so I had to call the company and have them cancel one of them. and. Um, I guess because of that they had it in like a review place and like weren't even processing it yet and my coach who's so on top of it she saw that and she was like uh, taking care of it this morning and then they called me and I guess it was I don't really know what we even talked about like she basically was like my purse is jingling she basically was like okay, so we're gonna send it out. It's gonna arrive at the same time. Uh, this is what you ordered. I guess I was just confirming everything because she was like, is there anything else you know, you, you need me to do, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I didn't even know there was a problem. Like, I didn't even know that it was in review or anything was a problem until my coach told me. So, she, like, uh, no, I think I'm good because I didn't even know we had a problem. Like, we're good. And of course, like, it happened while I was getting ready for work and I I wasn't like running behind but I wasn't like like I wasn't at any point where I could just like take a minute and talk on the phone like I had to like keep going or I was going to be late so that was interesting and then I'm having some issues with my footage it's not exporting like it should as like the fourth or fifth time I've tried to export the same video which I started this morning when I left so I really hope that when I get home from work it will be exported and then I can just upload it but it's really frustrating because I don't know why like I, I hate that with computers because it says like it had an error and it says like an error number but I'm like what does that mean though like okay whatever that is don't do it again like, I don't know if there's anything on my end that I can do for that it just like freaks out I'm like okay and it's been like different error numbers so like different things are going wrong I'm like what is the deal so that's a little frustrating I did quite a bit of editing in this one too uh, so if it ends up like deleting it, which it has before, or like something like that, I'm gonna be pretty bummed. Cause I don't wanna do all of it over again, but I would have to. So, that's something. My channel shouldn't be called Jackie Land. It should be called In the Starbucks Line with Jackie. Because I feel like most of the time when I talk to you guys, I'm like, in the Starbucks line. <laughs> Story of my life. Story of my life. I got in the Starbucks line. I owed my drink, and then I drank it all with lots of eyes. Story of, story of. <laughs> uh, do you guys do that? Do you add like your own lyrics to songs? Because I do it all the time, and I think it's hilarious. Quentin does it too. We also do this thing where we take like rap songs or really any song but we sing it like really white <laughs> he does it all the time it's so funny like really pronunciate and like draw things out and do it like really like rigid it's pretty funny it's good times he cracks me up he's a funny squirrel all right well i think that's all folks and i will talk to you later i will check in with you after work Hopefully I'll not have a crazy story like last week, but maybe an entertaining one. Bye. Hello friends. I'm just leaving work at Ulta right now. And what is a day at Ulta without a story? So definitely have a story for you today. I don't know if you could tell, but this side of my face is a little bit not as fleeky as it was. 
So my day was awesome till I went to wash my last client's hair and the shampoo bottle that I went to use was a little bit clogged and when I pushed it down, it squirted all down my face, in my hair, in my eyeball, on my shirt. That was fun. So I had to go with the towel and try not to fully mess up my makeup because I was still at work and get, first of all, the shampoo out of my eyeball, the shampoo out of my eyeball. <laughs> like, oh my God, I got it in it a little bit, like in the corner and that burnt. That wasn't fun. So that was a little interesting and I had it, it literally got like up here on my brow, my eyeball, like mascara, shadow, cheek, dripped all into my hair, which is great because uh, I have straight hair because I straightened it. I have naturally very curly hair. So when it gets wet, it curls. So I was able to like kind of blot that out so it didn't totally ruin it. But now I have shampoo just chilling in my hair because I'm not gonna get it wet and then totally ruin it. So that was fun. And uh, yeah, that was a little bit embarrassing. So I tried to just like, who's going? Somebody go. Okay, I'll go. Um, I tried to just like blend it out with my finger to like blend it together, but I can definitely tell like my shadow is messed up and my face feels a little sticky so that's fun but other than that I had a really good day I had awesome clients today uh, when I first get to work I was like kind of bummed because I work so few hours that I kind of at this point like expect to be is this the Sun or me uh, at this point I kind of like expect to be full the whole time but obviously that doesn't always happen so when I got there my I got there at 10 but my first appointment wasn't actually till noon I was like Ugh. but within five minutes of being there I got someone who called in and went an appointment and they ended up getting a giant service which is awesome filled my time and was great like for dollars and that was awesome and she was so cool and we got to talk about deep stuff because I just can't, I just can't be shallow with people. Like, I don't know, most people talk about like, I don't, I don't even know if I can explain it. Like, I always end up trying to solve the world's problems with my clients. Like, it, we, there's certain topics as a stylist you're told not to talk about. And that would be like religion, politics, sex, probably one other thing, but I can't remember it. And. I can't help it like I always end up talking about at least one of those if not all of those like they're good topics and I can't help like I can't not talk about my savior like I can't it just always gets in there somehow and I don't feel bad about it, it just is what it is I'm very respectful about it and I'm not like pushy about it by any means but it's just like a topic of life and often they bring it up and I'm like if you want to talk about it I'll talk about it that's fine with me like I'm like oh, okay we'll talk about that so I just can't I don't know I try and not be we're all very close quarters so I try to not be like saying things that are going to upset other people I mean it's kind of like you don't talk about certain things you talk about at the kitchen table if you will with your family not all those topics are something you're gonna talk about in just like public because people have deep-rooted feelings about things and okay that's not how roundabouts work but okay okay um so <laughs> Uh, what was I even saying? That guy was like bolted in front of me. Yeah, so not all topics that you talk about, you know, in public are something that, you know, usually you try and be like politically correct in public or talk about topics that aren't going to be upsetting to anybody or, you know, just like decent public topics. But when you're sitting with someone for hours and they're talking about their life, those things are bound to come up and I'm just like a real person like I can't 
not talk about it. Like, if you want to talk about it, I will be your therapist, psychiatrist, whatever is you need. I'm like, sure, I'll do it. Um, I feel like I, um, I've always been like a really old soul, so I've always been interested in like topics of like bettering yourself and people do these things because of this and you know just like stuff that gives insight about why things are happening or how we can better them or just all that so I want to help people if they are talking about something I want to help people and so many times my clients have helped me with stuff because I mean I go through things I'm pretty sure I've said this, but I've been with some of these clients for six years. Um, some of them a little less, but still years for almost all of them at this point. So they've been with me through many changes and many big changes specifically because in that time I've moved out of my parents' house, gotten married, you know, transitioned into another job and still do hair as well. I've been through numerous smaller things throughout the years they they give me advice on you know how to handle situations or they've been through many of these experiences before me so they have great advice to offer about you know a better way to do something or just anything like the coolest part I think about doing hair is that relationship and those topics that you get to talk to people about that you probably never would if, if they weren't coming in to get their hair done. Like things that they talk to me about and I talk to them about. It's just a very special, unique situation where we can share things together and talk about things together that we normally wouldn't get to if it weren't for the time that they're in my chair so it's very very cool and I've learned so much from my clients I've hopefully helped some of them along the way and it's just super super cool so we ended up talking about God of course and we ended up talking about relationships and just all kinds of topics and it was she was super cool loved her it was a long service so that was nice she ended up loving her hair which is probably your most important when you're going to see someone doing getting your hair done um, so she was super cool and then my next person um, I have been doing her for a long time and she is awesome I got to meet her daughter today which is kind of funny like I've known her for four or five years now and I like just met her daughter that I hear about all the time so that's fun and then my last client, she is such a special woman. Like, she's amazing. She has one kid who is a full adult now, who is like her birth child, who has uh, certain disabilities. And she since, for years, has adopted, I think about 10 over the years, other kids with disabilities like they have seizures they need g-tubes like just tons of issues she has a baby right now that just had she's a uh, she's under a year old and has had hip surgery on both of her hips uh, because she's not growing right like just the range of disabilities that her kids have is so large she's had a couple kids die like <laughs> Just, she's just amazing. I've never met a more giving, selfless person who is so sweet. Like, she is awesome. So I get to do two of her daughters today. I do one girl. She's four now, I think. She's so cute. I love her. So I've been cutting her hair for a while, the little girl. And then her baby, the one that just had the hip surgery on both of her hips, she... I think it's like the third time I've cut her hair because she hasn't had her for that long. They adopted her, you know, when she was a baby, so only for the past year. Um, she is like, oh man, those little girls, they're adorable. Love it! So that was really cool. It's, she's always got story after story. It's never a dull moment in her house. It's crazy. Work was great. I actually even got off early today, so that was nice. So I'm gonna go home. I have to work out today, which I'm dreading because my butt hurts. I'm so sore. 
That workout was crazy. But I still have that free streaming thing, so I'm gonna stream one today. My brow is like so, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like leave this face on all day or wash it off because it's gonna get so frustrating. I feel like probably putting more <laughs> makeup on top of this to blend it out. It's probably not gonna be a good idea to just leave like shampoo residue on my face, but I don't know. I also don't wanna like wash it all off so early, but oh, it's really bothering me. Like this is like disgusting. Like you kidding me? It was so good looking too. It was really, really good looking. So, oh, are you watching Fuller House? Are you watching it? I was not a huge fan of Full House, but I watched it and I liked it and the cast is so cute. Uh, it came out a couple days ago. I started watching it yesterday. I watched two episodes the first, no I didn't. I watched four episodes the first day. I watched two and then two later that day. And the first episode, like they bring back the whole cast except the Olsen twins. And um, it's so like nostalgic and like, Oh, I literally almost cried and I'm like not that kind of girl. I probably seem like I'm that kind of girl, but I'm really not that kind of girl. Like I, I joke that I don't have tear ducts because I really rarely cry. Like if I cry, I'm usually really frustrated about something or like, yeah, I'm usually just really upset, like frustrated. Like I can't do anything about this situation, but I'm really upset by it. So I'll cry. Um, or obviously if something like horrible happens then I'll cry or if I get hurt but I have a really high pain tolerance so even then rarely cry but I don't know it was like so like oh my childhood it's so sweet and I was like so happy for them to be like together again like so stupid but I was like so excited about it and I watched that so I've now seen I watched one this morning so I've now seen five of them and I'm getting a little sad because there's only 13 of them and I've already almost watched half of them so that's the one thing like okay it's two-sided on one hand I hate that Netflix lets out a whole season of something because if I like it I'm gonna binge watch it and then it's gonna be gone and I'm gonna be sad but on the other hand that's the one thing I hate about a TV show is that I have to watch one of them and wait a whole week till I can see another one kind of like the OJ Simpson thing that I'm obsessed with because I'm a psycho it's okay I'm cool with it we're all good with it but I have to wait a whole week to see the next episode and usually like I mean if you're going a week between and you have a life by the time it comes around the next week you usually like I don't know at least I like forget unless I've like written it down I literally have an alarm on my phone to go off 15 minutes before the OJ Simpson show comes on every week because I don't want to miss it but I will forget I literally have an alarm that says turn OJ Simpson on that sounds bad I should probably reword that <laughs> but anyway so it's like good and bad and I'm just like not that great at pacing myself when it comes to shows because if I watch it and I like it I want to see all of it and I usually have at least as like background noise I usually have like a show of some kind on so <sighs> and then like other shows that I've watched the whole season for the next season it's usually like a year later before the next season drops I'm like what am I gonna do till then Ugh. can you just have a new season for forever just never take a break that's unrealistic I know hey guys I am so frustrated I came home from work and I started cleaning my house because it wasn't to my standards and my vlog from yesterday I have now tried to export five times and every time I don't know what's happening but every time it like says it has an error I talked to you about this this morning every time it says it has an error and I'm like what is happening so this time I tried to export it again pretty much babysat it to make sure like maybe it like says something before it freaks out so I tried to watch it it went all the way through to the end, but usually at the end it says, like, done. And this time it didn't say anything. It just stopped. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just go on YouTube to upload it, and I'll just, like, search the title, and it should come up, which is what normally happens. Search the title. Something came up with the title, but it, like, wasn't 
what it should have been. I don't even know. So I was like, what the heck? But there was something that came up before that happened. It was like a little message box basically saying that my like disc was close to being full, which happens all the time because I have a tiny memory on my computer. So I deleted a bunch of stuff and just started exporting it again. And hopefully it's going to work this time. It says it's going to take an hour. So I'm not going to babysit it anymore. I'm just going to like hope that deleting enough stuff and the other file with the same name was like enough for it to like finally work. But so that's what I'm doing. And I want you guys to see the vlog and I want to keep vlogging. And if it keeps doing this, it's kind of messing up my thing. So if you see this and you see vlog nine, which is yesterday, I obviously eventually got it to work. <laughs> But in this moment, I'm so irritated because I don't know what's wrong, which means I don't know how to fix it. So, if you see this, I fixed it. Or at least it worked for this time. I'm going to go back to eating some peanuts and watching some YouTube and chilling out. Bye. Frustrating, but it finally exported, so now we're gonna upload it and it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Hey girl, hey! I am sitting here editing Ding. Uh, today's vlog. I finished my workout um, like probably about an hour ago. It was a really good workout today. I streamed another one. Um, I did one of Autumn's workouts called Kill Cupcake, which was pretty funny. Well, I guess one of the guys in 21 Day Fix Extreme, his name is Cupcake, so she did a workout with him trying to like kill him. <laughs> so it was really good. Um, my glutes hurt a lot because of what I was doing, but it but it was good. It was effective, and it wasn't too long. It was like 30 minutes, so that's nice. So I'm probably going to sign off for now. Quentin should be home any minute, um, and I'm going to take a bath like I do pretty much every night because I love them, and I still haven't had dinner, which I never actually had a lunch. I just kind of snacked. So, yeah, I'm going to do that, and I will get, <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.